Angel core. Oh, this looks angelic. Oh my God, I'm already doing it. I'm already doing it. This bathtub, it has wings. It's perfect. Oh my God, what are the odds? Hey y'all. It's very, very late when I'm recording this. I usually record a lot earlier, but your girl's busy. I'm tired of being busy. I just want to do nothing. <laughs> Sometimes sitting down and doing nothing for a day is just so refreshing. <laughs> but alas, I have a cool, fun idea for today's video. It was actually recommended by one of you guys in a comment on one of my last videos doing this sort of The Sims 4, but every room is a different blank. I will insert that comment here. Basically, they were saying I should do The Sims 4, but every room is a different aesthetic, which is a very cool idea. But what made it even more appealing is that they literally listed all of these aesthetics that I should use, which made my life so much easier. So I literally put them all into a wheel. I just copy and pasted this. You made it so easy. Honestly, I thank you so much for that. <laughs> also that, and because I don't know a lot of aesthetics, like I would have definitely had to do some research and I definitely will have to Google some of because I don't know what they mean. A few of them I've never heard of before, so if we land on those, I'm gonna have to do some Googling. So I've already taken it upon myself to build this house. I don't know what the heck I was going for with this thing. It was supposed to be like a Tudor house, although it doesn't really look like a Tudor house, but like, it's something. Also, it's glitching in some places and I didn't put windows in all the rooms, but you know, we're just doing our best out here, okay? <laughs> but I've already done the floor plan and everything. So it's like kitchen, dining room, it's gonna be like an entryway, living room, bathroom, upstairs, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, bedroom. Pretty simple. There's a lot of bedrooms, not a lot of bathrooms, but you know what? Whose fault is that? Oh, right. It's mine. Anyways, so I thought we'd start simple here with the entryway, which I think I forgot a light. I did. It's nice and easy, and I think this is a good place to start. So let's spin the wheel. I hope it's something I know. Plant mom. <laughs> Okay, I think I think this one's pretty explanatory. So it's just, you really love your plants. Honestly, I wish I was a plant mom. Oh, I see these people all the time and I'm so jealous. Oh my God, I know the perfect wallpaper for this. Here it is. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> It's perfect. So since this is just an entryway, we don't really have to do a ton of stuff, but I would like to put down those really cute like coat hanger, shoe bench things. What the heck are they called? They're so cute. I want one in my house so bad, but I don't have room for one, so I can't get one. I will forever be sad about it. One of these. They're amazing. I love them so much. They're so cute. It's a little umbrella holder, but I think the most important thing is gonna be the plants. So I was thinking like the easy route would just be to do this, right? And put like this big wall of planters, which I am actually thinking I'm gonna do that, but I wanna add more. I don't want that to be the only thing I put in here. I feel like this is really good for like a tight space. We'll put one of those down. Okay, this would be great, but it's really big. There's these, which might be good. Like I wish they had those plants that could hang from the ceilings. Those would be really good for this. Unfortunately, that's not quite a thing yet. If only I would have used a smaller door, I would have had more room for plants. I mean, I do think that is a good amount of plants. We have a whole wall of them here. I have them surrounded here. I mean, it's, it's the best I can do. Let's move on to the kitchen slash dining room. What's it gonna be? <laughs> what the heck are the odds? I got it again. No, 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 I'll, I'll re-roll. Goth? <laughs> Okay. All right, so the vampire's pack is about to get a lot of use. Starting with the wallpaper. Also, please don't get offended if I like insult any of these aesthetics. I'm doing my best. I don't know much about them. I'm just going off of what I know and or what I find on the internet if I have to look them up for any reason. Oh, but this one doesn't have a very good matching cabinet. Maybe I will replace these. I mean, this one looks actually pretty good. I might go with that. Oh my god, there's not a matching cabinet for freaking anything. So frustrating. Okay, you know what? The vampires do have one. It's like this dark green color. I just want something darker that has a matching cabinet. Why is it so hard? Why? I just, why is it so hard? But there just straight up isn't a matching. This is the biggest stress of my life. <laughs> You know what? These don't match, but I'm gonna use them anyways. I'm sick of trying to please. Well, myself, to be honest, because I just can't be happy because there's no matching cabinets for anything. It makes me so upset. I feel like we should do these types of refrigerators. I feel like they have more of the vibe I'm looking for. At least I think, I don't know. I also need a sink right there, perfect. It's kind of a cool kitchen, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda like it. Put like a vent hood thing, put a microwave. Here's a coffee corner so you can get caffeinated. <laughs> One single lonely bar stool. It is quite sad. It really is. 
I'm actually gonna go with that one instead. And then over here, we're gonna put a dining area. The vampire stuff is just perfect for this. Oh my God, these chairs are amazing. They're incredible. I'm gonna keep them that dark red. It just, I feel like it fits. There's a rug to go underneath it. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I even have like spider webs. I don't know if this is goth at all. I literally have no idea. There's a spider web right there. Very spooky. I'm just gonna go back to the vampires. Yeah, I feel like this stuff is just perfect. Like, I just feel like it, it really does work. And then over here, put this picture of Vladdy Daddy. Perfect. That is the single most saddest <laughs> looking island I have ever seen. <laughs> Maybe I should put another one. It's just so sad all by itself. There you go. That's way better. <laughs> all right, moving on to the living room. Cool core. Now this one I gotta look up. What the hell does that mean? An aesthetic revolving around the calming qualities in the atmosphere of a swimming pool, both indoor and outdoor. Okay. So I gotta make it look like it's underwater in a way. I guess that's... I'm just gonna put that down for now. I really don't wanna use that. Please, Lord, let there be something else I can use that looks like I'm underwater, please. Oh, that's way better. That looks like water. Cause I don't think there really is anything else except for this one that looks like water. Not seeing any. I'm just gonna go with this. This looks like a pool to me. Looks like I'm in the pool. So as far as like furniture and stuff goes, I'm not too sure what to use. <laughs> What if I put one of these? Oh my God. Wait, that's such a good idea. How do I even fit this in? Maybe I need to put it like over here or something. I'll put that over there. Let me change the color of it. Good Lord, I don't like that. There's something, okay. Ooh, there's a chair version of this. And there's a love seat. What the heck? They do it for the outdoor furniture, but not for the indoor furniture. Uh, uh I'm confused. I do be confused. I might use the love seat version of this because that one is taking up like the entire room. So for an in table, is there like an outdoorsy table? I can use. Here we go. That's outdoorsy. Pool, pool, pool. What if I went to the pool category and put down some st Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> the floaties. Oh, wait, I forgot to put the wallpaper on the stairs. I forgot to give the stairs railing again. There you go. Some glass railing. Maybe instead of a TV, we have like the sun. You know, it's like you're outside, right? So there's the sun. There, there it is. I'm really trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying to think. Let's just go to the outdoor section and see what we can find. Some flamingos, dude, yes, that's perfect. Oh, how about a, a water balloon fight? Oh my God, the towels. I can use that as a rug. I'll move the turtle over here and I'll use this as a rug. Oh my God. Oh, and there's so many patterns. Oh, it's a mermaid. Oh, it's perfect. I'm actually pretty impressed with <laughs> what I've done so far. I mean, I think I'm fitting the theme pretty, pretty well. Here's our coffee table. <laughs> I need something for on top of the coffee table. What reminds me of the pool? <gasps> here we go, poolside gnome. Oh my God, they're perfect. Oh, they're perfect in every way. All right, so here's some outdoor decor. We can have this, it's kind of like some plants outside. I don't know, I'm running out of ideas at this point. Ooh, a lifesaver. This is good, this is good. Put that there. <gasps> Fishes, yes. Ooh, okay, hold on, look. The net, oh my God, this is perfect. Okay, I think, I think I'm gonna call it there. I'm not too sure what else I can do in this room. I mean, I think I've done a pretty good job of figuring that out, but okay, let's move on to the first bathroom. This should be a little easier. This is fun. I actually really, I'm enjoying this one. <gasps> modern contemporary? I know all about this one as a modern expert myself. <laughs> she does one modern build and boom, she's an expert. Well, this is gonna be easy because modern just means solid solid color, <laughs> easy, and it's a bathroom. So I mean, how modern can I really make this? We're gonna have to really use all of our modern items here. There we go, that's pretty modern. Sleek, a toilet. I need a modern toilet. That's a modern toilet. And I need a modern shower. Ooh, that'll work. That'll work indeed. Indeededly so. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is kind of modern. I feel like this is modern. There you go. And for above the toilet, I mean, I always use this, but it is kind of modern. It has modern colors. I consider those to be modern colors. And as an expert myself, <laughs> I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> now I need a mirror, modern mirror. Modern mirror, I choose you. You're so tall. Come back down, honey, come back down. And then uh, there you go. All right, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I can't really do much else. It's a bathroom, but I think that's considered modern, at least a little bit. Moving upstairs for the hallway. This is not as exciting, it's just a hallway, but 
Oh no, not again. I can only do so much underwater themes. Stop it! There are so many on this wheel. Pick something else. Found objects. What? All right, so it says it's art made by like everyday objects. Unaltered everyday objects. This one's gonna be tricky. Thank God it's just the hallway. I also have a wallpaper literally in mind. Either something like this, which I don't like, but I think it goes with the theme. Or there's one that looks like newspapers that I think would be perfect. I mean, I hate it. I hate it so much, but it's reused objects, correct? Oh, this one's gonna be really tricky. I don't know what to do. There's also not a lot of room in here. Let me try to get like a chair maybe. Oh, here we go, here we go. These have been recreated from other materials, especially this one. I feel like you can definitely tell it was remade from something. And over here we can put maybe this table. And then I think the rest can just fit artwork. That's pretty much it. I hope I'm getting the idea of this aesthetic across. Like, I hope I'm getting it right. Otherwise, I'm struggling for no reason. I might be getting this one a little bit wrong. How, oh, how about this, right? This was, this, these are someone's shoes that have now been turned into art, right? Is that right? <laughs> I feel like I'm not correct with this one at all. I feel bad. Maybe I'll go with this. This is a bathtub used as a planter. It's not really considered art, I don't think, but it's an everyday object being used for artistic purposes. It's actually technically being used to grow plants, but they can't use it in this game. So technically it's just decorative. What's another word for decorative? Art. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to justify my actions. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna resize this tire down and, oh God, the shadow. <laughs> the shadow. That was a good idea, right? Taking a tire and using it as a planter. I mean, everything's just being used as planters, but I don't have a lot of options. <laughs> How about this? It's a watering can. Oh man, I'm running low on ideas. Woo, I'm running low. And let's just say they maybe just wrote on this. I don't know. I'm, no, you know what? I'm out of ideas. I'm not even gonna lie anymore. I'm just gonna move on because this is taking a long time to figure out. So the first bedroom, what's it gonna be? Okay, let's see. Expressionism. I gotta look this one up too. Ooh, a modernist movement initially in poetry and painting. Oh, okay. I get it in an art sense. So basically just really distorted, abstract looking art. But in this case, we're doing abstract looking home decor. Okay, this is gonna be tricky as well. So something like this, maybe, I don't know. It's not necessarily abstract. It's just like a different look at things, right? Although this might be good for that. Uh, this might actually be the best thing I have to work with, so I'm gonna go with that. Now, as far as beds go, there's literally, ooh, there's beds with like this on it. There is also this bed with Starry Night, which might be perfect. I don't know if that's necessarily the same style. This bed doesn't even fit in here, by the way. I'm gonna have to go for a single bed that is not working. Shoot, that was gonna be the one I chose for sure. Okay, when I say I've gone through all of the single beds like a million times trying to find something that matched the theme I thought I was going for, I can't find anything. In the double beds, there's more options but in the single beds, my God, that was hard. I'm just gonna go with this. It's like the walls have really taken care of what I'm looking for, but God, that was so hard. I know this isn't exactly the right theme, but I'm trying. That was hard. As for a table, I would say that this is a pretty daring art piece for a table. So I'm gonna go with that. As far as lighting goes, let's see. I'm trying to find a funky looking lamp, but there aren't, there aren't really that many funky lamps. I mean, I guess that's kind of funky. How about a giraffe? Y'all, I'm running extremely low on ideas. <laughs> trying really hard for a dresser. This is the only dresser I can find with like designs on it, like funky ones. I'm gonna go with that. Doesn't really match, but I mean, I, are we really worried about that right now? <laughs> oh, I feel like this mirror fits the theme of just expression. And since this is mostly done in paintings and or sculptures, we'll put an easel in here. Matter of fact, we'll put this interesting looking easel in here and it is interesting. I'll give you that. Then I think we should get some sculptures in here to represent that side of it as well. The, as best as I can. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do this. <laughs> Here's something, I just, everything that like kind of more so fits what I need is either huge or isn't that good? I don't know. Ooh, ooh, this is scary as hell, but I feel like it kind of works. Does that even actually work? I was trying to like think that this worked in my head. I'm not sure it does. I'm gonna move on to the next room. <laughs> that was hard. Next. Ooh. 
fairy. <gasps> I like this one. I like this one a lot. <laughs> so I like this wallpaper. I think we should do that. It's got a couple cute colors in it. This one I think will be a lot easier to do as well. I really, I think this one's gonna be so much easier. I'm gonna use this bed, which I don't think I've ever used before. Honestly, I don't think I've ever used it before. Put down a little cute bear. I need a dresser. I'm actually gonna sort it by pink. Oh, here we go. This is perfect. Oh my God, perfect. A pink chicken, perfect. <laughs> Oh my God, love her. But she's a bit big for this room. <gasps> That's perfect. I do be enjoying this one a lot. <laughs> How about a cupcake? And these will go good right here. Oh, this one's a lot easier to do. I'll tell you what. We could even get them a cute little pet, a little hamster. It's in a pink cage and everything, cute. I think we should also have some lights going along that wall. I feel like that fits. This pink rug over here. I don't really know what my plan is for this room, but I'm just enjoying the ride. Like It's just been a good time here. I'm gonna put a pink teddy bear at the end of the bed as well because I feel like that fits. And I think I'm gonna call it there. It's pretty cute. Although I feel like, I do feel like it is missing something. How about a butterfly? Dude, I think these are sick. Moving on to, what the heck happened here? I can't leave you all alone for two seconds without something going wrong. All right, the next bathroom. Angel core. What the heck is that? Oh, this is gorgeous. What is this? Oh, aesthetics wiki. Nice. A delicate and soft aesthetic that draws upon angelic and religious themes. Often uses the motives of crosses, churches, and anything with a pure or innocent connotation. Ooh, for a bathroom? I mean, girl, we're doing a lot of unholy things in there. By that, I, I was just talking about pooping, but okay. I'll see what I can do, but don't get your hopes up because for a bathroom, I'm not too sure I can pull this off. Oh, this looks angelic. Oh my God, I'm already doing it. I'm already doing it. This bathtub, it has wings. It's perfect. Oh my God, what are the odds? Oh my God. What the heck are the odds? I also don't have a wallpaper. I should probably get one. Now I need a sink. Is there any kind of angelic sink? Dude, honestly, I mean, I know the gold tones don't match here, but like, y'all, come on. I'm wondering if like this bluish color is more angelic though, because it kind of represents the clouds in the sky and stuff. I mean, it still has wings. Oh, it's a bird. Look at the faucet. <gasps> oh, okay, but it has wings. I'm gonna take that as a sign. I feel like this mirror kind of fits the theme. So we're gonna go with that. Okay, so there's nothing to do with angels. What if I type in wing? Yeah, gargoyles. That might be the complete opposite of what I'm looking for. <laughs> Here's this painting of some butterflies. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Not really though. Oh, wait, oh, wait. There's a decal that has clouds on it. Perfect, I could use that. I could actually use that. Oh, this is such a cute theme, but I feel like it's being so wasted on a bathroom, which is kind of unfortunate. Give it some curtains. I'm trying. There's really not much else I can do, but that's a really cute aesthetic. I think that's very nice. So for the bedroom, cottage core. <gasps> I just learned what this is. I'm redoing my Animal Crossing Island like this on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Vixella. I'm gonna leave it in the description below. Come check it out. Come hang out with us. It's a good time. Look at this. Look at this photo. It's gorgeous. Luckily, I had a little bit of experience with this in my Animal Crossing town. So now I have to figure out how to make it work in this bedroom. Wait, I have an idea. What if I used this wood? Could maybe go for that instead. I mean, it's not perfect, but it kind of gives a better theme. It's like a cottage. I feel like the bed can have a similar vibe where it's from Outdoor Retreat. I like this one. I think this one's cute. There's an end table. Definitely need a lot of plants, that's for sure. But let me put a dresser in so that I know I can fit a dresser in there. It also came with a dresser, so that's nice. It fits the whole theme. I say for a rug, we use something like this. That's really cute and then oh this is gonna be so tricky i keep thinking they're gonna be easy but then i just don't know like I, should i put like vines on the walls this seems a little excessive but at the same time i'm like well isn't that kind of the vibe we do have some like outdoorsy things that we can put down from again outdoor retreat who knew it would ever come in handy but it did we'll put a mirror over there what else can we do <gasps> Ooh, i think we need some more plants over here i'm gonna put a plant right here i'm just gonna squeeze it. <laughs> you know what? I actually might put more vines right there. That actually looks pretty good. And I'll put something above it. I just don't know what though. <gasps> I'm pretty sure I used this downstairs, but I mean, hell, I'm just gonna use it again. Just put some different colors on there. Fun. I can put a wreath here. I do love these wreaths. They're very cute. I think I'll put a little lantern here to imagine that we're outdoors. Oh, let's put the little like the scouting badge thing. Wait, what is it called? Scouts? I haven't used it in so long. I forgot what it was called. I'm trying. Again, my brain is trying so hard to make something out of nothing. A guitar. 
are. Yes. Oh yeah, there's also this miniature version, which I always forget about. I can put it right above there. It looks so cute. And the infamous flower picture. I do feel like it has the same tones I need for this room. But anyways, I think I'm done. I think I've got the point across in this room. I did my best anyways, but I am done. Yay. <laughs> Again, please go easy on me. I was trying my best to represent all of the different aesthetics, but uh, some of them are really tricky to do in The Sims, as you might imagine. But this was a really, really fun challenge. One of the definitely more challenging ones I've done. But if you have any other ideas for any challenges that you want to see me try, leave them in the comments below. I got this one for my comment, so yours could be next. Y'all have better ideas than me, and this video pretty much, pretty much convinced me that that's the truth. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. To become part of the early squad, click that notification bell and make sure all notifications are on so you never miss any of my videos. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.